Hey, what's going on guys? Droid Kevin Rooted here and let's begin this video. So, this video is all about what's on my Galaxy Note 2. Maybe you guys saw some widgets in reviews before and want to know what I'm using. And in this video I will show you a closer look of what I'm using right now. My home screen setup and uh, my app drawer and uh, new apps and stuff. So let's begin with the lock screen. That's easy. This is widget locker. I had it several years ago. Now two years ago. First time. But now it's really nice and got some new widgets and functions. I purchased the full version. I think it's uh, $3 or something. But I think it's worth the money. And when you don't have a credit card you can purchase it purchase it via PayPal on the Tesla Coil website. Yeah, I use the um, Jelly Bean pad here, original pad, and um, a small weather widget from Beautiful Widgets and the standard uh, AOSP clock from 4.2.1. And let's unlock and go on with the status bar um, or the notification tray. You see I have several toggles here. I think there are 27 in one row <coughs> and 7 at one view. Uh, to do this, uh, 7 in one uh, view here, you can uh, use the simplistic control app which I will show you um, in some minutes. Yeah, this is my notification tray. And my status bar looks like this. Got the uh, circle mod battery icon and the center clock. And all this blue theming here going on. I will show you what theme I'm using. Mm, now, let's do this now. I'm using the, I think it's called Black and Blue from the XDA developers, but I will show you for confirmation. Black and Blue Fusion, so B and B Fusion version 1.5. This is what I'm using right now. When you go into settings or menus in on the phone, it will look like this. And the actual targets look very, very nice. 3D-ish look and the text disabled and enabled in very small letters looks really smart and uh, of course the um, white icons here very uh, very clean looking let's turn the brightness down a little bit yeah this is what it looks like so the status bar will also be themed when you install it uh, installation is easy, just flash it via, um, via Clockwork Mode Recovery or any other custom recovery. And my home screen replacement is, um, is Nova Launcher. I used ADV and Apex before, but I'm not satisfied with them, I think. But Nova Launcher is the fastest. So what I'm using here is um, a beautiful widget widget for by one the weather forecast. <clears throat> I'm using the stock weather icons here and some icons you see here. They are what I'm using the most. Maps, Chrome, Camera, my markets here, app stores and my phone applications, the basic ones, phone, messaging, WhatsApp and Gmail for messaging and I got my AOSP clock down there and also a Google widget which is on all of my screens, persistent bar and the wallpaper I think when I find it I can post you a link, I think it's from the Zach app, yes um, I will show you in some minutes. 
Here I got my shortcut for XDA. Now this home screen is not ready yet. I think I will uh, put some widgets on it soon. And my calendar. And my YouTube widget. <coughs> Don't know what's going on with the new YouTube app because every time I sign in uh, these videos will disappear and show me some um, so my uh, videos from these subscriptions actually disappear in this widget here and will show me some weird suggestions that's not so cool here I got my uh, favorites, my bookmarks from Google Chrome and here I got my shortcut for the gallery and the settings and this is empty right now but I think I will put some widgets on it soon to open my app drawer I simply use a gesture which is available in Nova Launcher Prime because I donated and got the full version so swipe up <coughs> I'm using right now and you see my app drawer is verti vertically scrolled I like it because for the widgets you can do that and go to the letters which you can't in horizontal mode so apps you see 7-zipper simply, uh, simply unzips every zip file <laughs> That's a very neat app. 8 bit life wallpaper. I installed it for fun. This is a Mario life wallpaper. Ad free. Gets rid of all of your. Gets rid of all ads in apps. And uh, needs root access. But it's very easy to use. And AdSense dashboard. It's for um, when you're using AdSense on your YouTube videos. Um, the Google you can sign in with your Google account and see what revenues you got from good rated videos which have a really high view count and to the benchmark you all know it Aptoid is another uh, a Play Store replacement awesome beats you know it improves your sound on headphones Barku scans every barcode on your stuff like water bottles and stuff you eat and yeah all the barcodes and beautiful widgets the new version for the five point what the heck um five point oh point four I think yeah yeah, these are the beautiful widgets. Better battery stats gives you a overlook of all things happened while your phone slept and when it was awake and shows your kernel wake logs, partial wake logs. And you can drill down the applications which are causing these wake logs and limiting your battery life. Blackmart, another app store replacement. Blitzer DA Plus plus is for um, yeah I don't use it but it's for for not getting tickets while speeding and uh, Burger King best app ever get some coupons and and stuff <laughs> calculator calculator this one is very nice my script calculator which makes very good use of the S Pen. This is really nice app. So just make one by four, four, yeah. This is how it works. Knows every um, calculation of operators and works very nice and I think it's much faster uh, than using a calculator the stock one because you can do things like routes and um, some uh, complicated ones
a touch with camo which has a lot of features chrome clabberdunken.de is um, which finds you the cheapest gas stations in your area what's very nice clock clock jb uh, color note i think they are self explaining db navigator for your train connections def j radio very nice radio for rnb dropbox you know it google earth email which i'm not using because of gmail and omondo for your running needs um, it collects your data while running and shows your route and your burnt calories and stuff flash player flipboard fm radio gallery gallery this one is the aosp this one is the touch with one gmail google search icon changer free you can use it for changing some icons but you when you use a custom launcher like nova launcher you don't need it but when you're using touch with launcher and you want to change some icons original internet browser kicker for football stuff and yeah also very good <coughs> Leafa Health is um, purchasing pizza and stuff on the internet and it will get delivered to you. Uh, Google Local, Lucky Patcher, you can use it for patching um, uh, paid apps, uh, cracked apps. Uh, you can uh, remove the um, remove you can remove something uh, the license verification you can remove and it's very cool but you don't have to do it because developer also need money and my gmx mail account uh, maps mc3 really really great game for online playing and shooting a very good shooter mc3 Messaging, minimalistic text are widgets which I'm showing you in a minute. Mobile is market, another app store replacement. MovieTube is also very good. It finds uh, movies on YouTube which were uploaded. No. And it finds you the movies uh, which you can watch on YouTube. Also very great. Multi-winner control, just for Note 2 and Galaxy S3 and our devices which use it. Add stuff to your multi-winner control here. Original music player, my files is I think from MIUI. No, it's the original file explorer from Samsung. N7 player, really good MP3 player and the N7 player unlocker for the full version. Navigation NFC task launcher, which you can use for NFC tags. Cancel. So you can do some profiles and tasks here. Nova settings, of course, for my launcher. Very great to have it. This nice launcher. PayPal, PayPal artist. Phone, of course, PixArt. This is for editing. What the fuck? Uh, this is for editing pictures and stuff, so just pick a photo from your gallery. For example, my car, my Corsa, and edit it. Very great app, it's free, and you get a lot of options. Play Store, of course, Pokemon TV, very geeky, but very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you get some episodes which you can watch. Here, very good quality and it's lot it uh, lots of fun because memories. <laughs> QR Droid scans QR codes and creates um, them. When you have a link, just put it in and you will get a QR code for sharing with your friends. They just scan with their phones and get the link. Quadrant Standard Root Explorer. 
typical root explorer, S-Node, S-Planner, S-Suggest, Samsung apps, you know them, <coughs> settings, Shush is very, very good, sweet, got it, and when you turn off your ringer, mm. by tapping here, turn ringer on in two hours and you can set it, very great app, so shush and it will keep your ringer shush till the time uh, which you have set. Simplicity control is um, kind of AOKP ROM control for your touch with ROM. You have to purchase it, but I have a review for that, so we'll link it down in the description. Solid Explorer, best Explorer I think. See, you can do um, two things at once. Searching a file here and, for example, paste it here. Very great, but I will not do a review in this video. Sparkasu, <laughs> my bank account app, S Pen Board Switcher. It uh, switches your keyboard. So let's do this. Go to Google. You see, I'm using SwiftKey which is the best keyboard I think, but when I'm using the S Pen I will want I want to use this one, the stock one. And you saw it, it changes because of this app. No, not now. And you can write stuff here. Which is more um, efficient when you plug out the S Pen. Let's go to airplane mode <laughs> and proceed. Yeah, Swift key, S tweaks for overclocking and stuff when you have a rooted Galaxy Note 2 or GS3, which um, has a kernel for that. Tursus is the theme I'm using for all these icons. Very great theme with uh, also wallpapers and stuff. You see the icons are now themed this way. Titanium Backup for backing up my apps when I was switching ROMs and and um, I can uh, restore my data and apps. Toggles control. For these toggles just um, <coughs> you can choose the toggles and rearrange them. Track ID when you hear a, hear a song in the radio, on the radio. 